Hi everyone, it's Norma, and I have yet another haul video. As you guys know, the semi-annual sales are going, and I thought I was done, because I was really trying not to get a lot of large jars, and a lot of the summer scents that they have out right now, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm not that crazy about, but when I heard that they were discontinuing tea lights in certain forms, that got my attention. And French Vanilla is one of the scents. Um, they had a list. I don't have it in front of me. It's kind of a moot point now because almost everything sold out online. And so they had the tea lights marked down to $3. They're normally like $9.99 a box. Plus this weekend they had... 20% off everything, including semi-annual sale items. So basically that brought the tea lights down to like $2.40 a box, which is crazy, crazy good. I use a lot of tea lights. So I, like I said, I waited a little bit too long. The sale started, I think it was on Friday, and I didn't have any money, so I didn't buy any, um, which was killing me. But then yesterday I went to my mom's house and I it was a five hour round trip to drive. I spent six hours doing heavy weeding and my mommy paid me and gave me some candle money. So yay mommy, I love you. Um, so I was able to go to Yankee and also I went to White Barn today. So this is the combined Yankee Candle White Barn haul. And I kind of didn't get really what I wanted in the tea lights because, like I said, they were sold out. The Yankee store was practically bare of everything. They had, like, one little basket of tea lights. Well, maybe it was two baskets, but it, it, it wasn't many, I mean. And the scents that they had left were more like linen scents. Like, they had that line-dried cotton. Um, they had metal showers. They had clean cotton. Uh, just... You know, more laundry type scents, which that's probably my least favorite scent category. And now with, um, you know, we're almost into July. I was really looking for scents that I use year round or would carry me into fall. So they didn't have that much really. So I found one box of vanilla cupcake. I don't know why I picked up the lilac blossoms, except I like it, and it's a scent that I would burn in the spring. And I actually thought I got two, but I must have put one back. I was able to find four boxes of Dreamy Summer Nights. That's all they had in the store. I got two boxes in Home Sweet Home. I wasn't really crazy about this one, but I figured, you know, it's a pretty generic, like, cinnamon-type scent. I could use it in the fall. It would blend with whatever else I have going on so I guess that wasn't that bad of a deal after all um, so then I ordered online because I didn't have them in the store I ordered six boxes of soft blanket and they actually had only 18 boxes left in stock only 18 boxes people um, I was really tempted to get all of them um, and I was really seriously tempted to get a dozen but you know, I, I told the essay, I said, do you really think that they're going to discontinue it? And she said, no, I don't think so. She goes, I just think it's going to be a seasonal retirement. They're going to bring it back, you know, for next spring and summer. Um, they just had to get rid of something to, to make room for some of the new scents. But she thought it was coming back. So, oh, fingers crossed she's right because if it doesn't come back next spring, I'm going to really kick myself that I didn't buy the last 18 boxes. So I have six boxes, soft blanket. I have six boxes of lavender vanilla because the stores never got those in and then six boxes of pineapple cilantro. The van French vanilla was already sold out. Um, I don't, I forgot to check on vanilla cupcake. Vanilla cupcake's not one of my favorite vanilla scents. I prefer like buttercream or French vanilla, but hey, in a pinch it will do. So because it was kind of thwarted on the tea light level, um, I decided to get some small jars, which I know is not the best deal, because right now the best deal at Yankee Candle are the large jars. They had the um, 6 for 60, so they're $10 each, plus you could apply 
that 20% off. So I think that brought each large jar down to about $8, which is crazy, crazy good. It's like Yankee Candle is giving away the jars. You can't even buy the large jars at the outlet for eight bucks um, unless they have, like they have the Christmas in July sale and then some of the holiday scents will go down to eight bucks, but you just can't buy a large jar for eight bucks. So that is the best deal. They did have, um, the medium jars on sale for eight dollars and then with the 20 percent off it took them down to I think it was 640 I'll look at my receipt a little bit later so I picked up two jars in pineapple cilantro and then I end up getting just the little baby jars because I can use these in a lot of my accessories these will fit in the medium fractals for instance and even some of your larger tea light holders, you can fit a baby jar in. And then, you know, there are some accessories that look better if you have your, your light down low. So I, I just went with basic, you know, like vanilla that I know I can use all fall and winter long. So I grabbed whatever they had in vanilla cupcake, which was one, two, three, four, five, six seven that's all they had in vanilla cupcake sorry about that and then I thought I had two ginger maples instead of seven vanilla cupcakes so but I guess it must have been a vanilla cupcake which I'm sad about because I like the gingerbread maple better but yeah so you know nothing crazy exciting as far as candles just tea lights I bought the small jars to use in accessories, and I got the two medium pineapple cilantro just because I like it. Um, I'm kind of regretting I didn't get any large jars. Um, I held back because I just don't have the space. Honestly, I don't even know where I'm, I'm going to put this stuff. But I was really tempted because they did have some two-wick tumblers in, in the paraffin wax and soft blanket. I could have easily gotten six of something, no problem whatsoever, um, but I didn't. So if they go down even farther next weekend, I may crack. But so far, I've held strong not buying the large jars. And, it, and basically, it's because of storage people. I just don't have the storage space. So then I did get the Greek Isle Hurricane, which... I'd been debating about all season long. I just wasn't sure if I liked the pattern. I love the Greek key pattern. And in fact, I got the um, the gold plate, which, not plate, but the gold tray, which you can probably see behind you. I have my pineapple on there right now. Let me take you in. So I love the tray, and I love the Greek key pattern like that. And I think if they had had the pattern on this, like more like a border, bigger and wider like that I would have liked it more with the pattern like this to me it kind of just looks like a maze and so I hesitated and I hesitated and I hesitated but when they finally dropped the price down really low I was like you know what I'm just gonna grab them um, if I decide I don't like it I can always gift it but I'm sure I'll use it somewhere sometime you know because I do have a lot of blue in my condo and then I couldn't resist getting this little, this little tea light holder. It's like an Adirondack chair. Normally this is not the type of thing I would go for, but uh, in my Facebook group, Sandra did two amazing summer candlescapes. She did one with a mermaid, and if you watched my What I Am Burning Now video in June, I did do a mermaid candlescape, but she also did a cute little fun one where it's like a cottage at the seaside where you know she had a little chair and a little bicycle and sand and it was just really cute and fun and summery. So I had absolutely nothing to do that kind of candlescape. So I said, you know, I'm going to pick up the chair. Maybe next summer I'll do something with it. We'll see. But anyway, I thought it was cute. Um, so that is pretty much it for Yankee. So let me kind of rearrange a few things here and I'll show you what I got at my white barn. Okay, so 
right now, as I mentioned, the best deal at Yankee Candle is probably the large jars, but the best bargain at your Bath and Body Works slash White Barn, and actually this really only applies to White Barn because they don't sell the Henri Bendel candles at Bath and Body Works anymore. The best deal really at the White Barn was these Henri Bendel candles, and I'm amazed that hardly anybody knows about this deal. People in my Facebook group who know about Henri Bendel candles jumped on this deal, but I have two white barns that are really close to me that's easy for me to get to. Um, there's a few more that are farther, a little bit farther away in my general area. I live in Metro Detroit, in case you guys didn't know that. Um, and if I'd wanted to drive, I mean, they're all within driving distance. I think the farthest one is probably like an hour away if I don't hit traffic. But I didn't go to any of those. I just stuck to the two that were kind of close to me. And nobody's been buying them but me. I mean, there's been like one or two here or there that have sold, but for the most part, they're just sitting there waiting for me to scoop them up. Um, I just can't believe it. If you don't know about Henri Bendel, these candles normally sell for $30. And they actually just, they're having their clearance sale right now online, and they just had a handful of scents. They had Silver Birch, Velvet Oud, um, white cedar, uh, they had blackberry fig, coconut flower, I think that was it. It was not very many scents. I think they're they're clearing seeing some scents out, they're going away. And sadly, Velvet Oud, which is like one of my all-time favorite on Ray Bendel candle, if not my favorite, um, may be going away. Um, the store I went to today had eight velvet oud. I left six behind. If they're still there next week when I get paid, they shall be mine. So fingers crossed. Um, you know, if they're not, they're not. It is what it is. And I kind of wish I had gotten them instead of the gardenia. But I had just come from Yankee. And then I went to the White Barn store in that same mall. And I was like, oh, I spent more money at Yankee than I should have. And so I was like, ah. I'm only going to get three Henri Bendel candles and I'm going to be good. So I just got the three. I got two Velvet Oud and I got the last Silver Birch that they had in the store. They also had, what did they have in that store? They had a pretty good selection. They had one rose left. They had some peony left, several peonies. They had Citrus Grove, but that was about it. The um, current thinking is that maybe White Barn is not going to be carrying the Henri Bendel candles anymore because they haven't been restocking the stores. Um, so either they're not going to carry them anymore or they're just clearancing out all the stock that they have and with a plan to restock it in the future with you know new fresh stock. I don't know, maybe a new line. I don't know what they're doing. But they're disappearing from the White Barn stores. And right now... They're 50% off in most stores. I know there's a few stores in the country that are just doing the two for 50. Um, but you should really try to push the deal because they should be 50% off. So that brings them down to $15. Plus you can use your Bath and Body Works coupon, which is either 20% off. And I happen to have 10 off of 40 that I was able to use. So... Once again, to me, it's the best deal because these are $30 candles. If you buy them at an Henri Bendel store or on the Henri Bendel website one day a year, one day a year in December, they have a $15 sale. That's the lowest they mark them down unless they really clearance them out. That day, the candles sell out. So to be able to get the $15 candle sale and to use a coupon on top of that is an amazing deal. You can't get a better deal for these candles. And I happen to love them. So I ended up going to two different malls. The first mall, I did the two velvet oud, the silver birch. I went to the second mall and these were all the gardenias that they had. And I love their gardenia. 
my very favorite gardenia scented candle used to be Kringle, but they discontinued that scent. And it was always a light thrower. This one is very, very close and it throws. So I snapped up all their gardenia. Um, and the second mall, they had not as much a selection left. They did have some citrus grove. Um, they had some fig. I think both stores had some fig. Um, but if I go back and get any more, I will be getting whatever they have left of the Velvet Oud. Um, and there's six in that one store. So, yeah, I just have to wait for payday. That's all. I'm just out of money now. But, um, so basically that is my Yankee Candle and White Barn haul. It's more money than I wanted to spend, but if you guys have watched my videos from past years, you know I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good, you know. They didn't have to take a cart to haul away my large jars, which actually, by the way, um, I just saw that someone in my Facebook group posted that they purchased 60 large jars. You go, girl. You go, girl. You know who you are. They had to load her up on the cart and, and truck her through the mall with all those jars. That's an amazing, awesome deal. So anyway, I hope you guys... Um, your semi-annual sale so I was just gonna go over my receipt a little bit to show you what I got so the medium jars and pineapple cilantro normally retail at $24.99 with the they were on sale for $8 then they had 20% off so they were $6.40 each I think I said that I got it right the um, small jars of vanilla cupcake granted not the best deal these little baby jars, not the best deal. Um, they normally are, I believe, $10.99. They were down to five. You could have gotten a large jar for eight, I know. Um, they end up being, you know, like four bucks each. The tea lights are normally $9.99. They were 50% off. No, they were marked down to three. Nine ninety. They're normally nine ninety nine. Marked down to three. Twenty percent off. Brought them down to two forty. And then the hurricanes. And I got well. I got the little votive holders too. So let's see. So the votive holders were seven ninety nine, and they end up being three nineteen each. Is that right? I guess so. 319 two or two um, but then the large hurricane was oh I'm sorry I can't see anything normally 22.99 and they were marked down I think they were like 75% off or something like that end up being 460 each so yeah at 460 I will like it. And how much was that little chair? Oh, I'm sorry. This video is turning out to be a little bit longer. I can't find it. Um, 319 I think. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The little chair was 4 and then the tea lights holders were 319 Something like that. Anyway... My grand total between for Yankee Candle with what you see on the table plus my online order was $135.66. The Henri Bendel using the coupons came to, I did three transactions, three set of three, and it came to like about $37 each transaction. So yeah, it's a little pricey, but I saved a lot of money. I saved a lot of money. So. That's pretty much it for me for the semi-annual sale, unless I said I go back and get some more Velvet Oud, and unless they knock down those large jars even more below 8 bucks, then that will be insane. I will lose my mind. So there you guys have it. That's my haul. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and have a blessed day.